formula and mutated into a gigantic abomination. I managed to defeat him, but his overdose had devastating side effects. Joker was dying, and he needed a cure. To ensure my cooperation, he infected my blood with his own, leaving me no choice but to help him. But that wasn't all. He contaminated Gotham's blood banks, too. The result? The patients currently quarantined here. Joker's mutated blood behaves like a prion infection, attacking the brain and transforming these people into him. Unless we find a way to reverse the process, no one will be able to stop what he has unleashed. What's the matter, Harv? Burning smell brings back some bad memories. You're a real couple of bozos, you know that? Enough. Well, well. About time you showed your face. <laughs> yeah, what's left of it? What's the deal, Crane? Why are we here? Because you share something. A fear that strikes at you from the shadow, hunts you, keeps you afraid of the dark. Yeah, yeah. We all fear Batman. Tell us something we don't know. Like how we kill him. That's my job. This cocky cop shine isn't the first bat fanatic to muscle in on our turf. I'd sooner piss on him than trust him. The coin has given a chance. Sod the stinking coin. When I make a deal, I like to look a man in the eye. Did you bring a foot to him? Yeah, real funny, Harv. You keep talking like that, and Scarecrow's little ceasefire ain't gonna happen. Let this Arkham Knight run his army. Leave him and Scarecrow to chase the bat. We can take care of ourselves. I'm having nothing to do with your bait job. Aside from my cut, of course. You just make sure our men are armed and their guns are loaded. Oh, don't you worry, Arv. The guns will be loaded. Every bleeding second of this truth. Look at you. Getting claret everywhere. Look like you've done ten rounds with Grundy. Oh, my arm, I think it's broken. This had better be good, otherwise I'll keep you a matching pair. What happened? Oh, we got to the docks, like you said. All these men, they had the same idea as us. Someone warned them, didn't they? You, you dirty, filthy crap. Of course, please. Someone got the job on all of us. They, they killed everyone. What? He went through us like we weren't there. I, I never seen anything like it. The Arkham Knight. He had a gun in my mouth. He said this was a family now. We all gotta get along. And he said, you better know your place. Cheeky person. Hey, don't shoot the messenger, right, boss? Nah. I could break his bloody arm, though. <laughs> oh, boss. Ah, my arm.
entertained. Be astounded by Big Top. Is it a bird? Is it a woman? Who knows? But I guarantee it's the most gigantically grotesque assortment of flat you have ever seen. Be dumbfounded by the acrobatic oddity that is. I am. Stare open mouths as these conjoined triplets who defy the limits of the human body and its imagination. <laughs> and last, but by no means least, be stung and horrified by the combustible wonder that is phosphorus red. <laughs> Folks, you got to see it to believe it. Come and join us and you'll never look at the world the same way again. Yanosh, my dearest son. Oh, my perfect child. I make these recordings so that you are not alone. So that you know Daddy loves his son. Daddy loves his little pig. Mm. Mm. The circus has traveled far and we have brought joy to many sad people. They join us now like a big family growing week by week. Now they feel no pain. They know nothing of misery. I call them my dollatrons. <laughs> to each new home we move at night, finding a fresh patch of earth to inhabit. Secret places in forgotten parts of town. Ugly wastelands. <laughs> Where the locals stumble unawares into our candy striped tent. <laughs> The Dollatrons are the first to greet them with open arms and <gasps> perfect faces. The climax of the show is when I take them to see Mother. Oh, I tell you, they are amazed by my imagination, confounded by my dexterity, as each is transformed into a beautiful work of art. But Mother is hard please. She wants more, always more. Never satisfied, always driving me to work harder, to obtain perfection. And I will. Night has drawn its curtain yet again and the circus moves on. Our numbers swollen to a different patch of earth. On the dark horizon, the building tops glimmer. The heat and smog of industry shrouds a den of criminals and beasts. Gotham is her name. Yanosh, I'll tell you, the circus has come home. My dear Yanosh, it is time you learned the truth about your mother, your real mother. I remember not her name or how she found me wallowing in that pit of despair. <laughs> like an angel. She swept into my turvy world, dragged me, screaming, <laughs> from shapeless chaos, and wrapped me in her arms. She was a beauty, Yanosh, a masterpiece, perfect in every way. Until Mother Goat found her. Imagine my horror when I emerged from that dreamy soup and discovered what she'd done. Placenta face, cork on smile, ribbons of ruptured flesh. Ooh, the nails had done their work. But by then my seed was already sown. Your life already begun. Mother would have killed you both had I not stopped her. <laughs> Saved you from her rage. <laughs> Day and night I worked. Month after month, sculpting her loathsome clay to recapture the beauty that saved me that night. The night of your creation. She clung to me as you grew, as I toiled to make her right again. But nothing pleased, Mother Goat! Nothing. I did all I could to fix her, to make her perfect. By the time you came along, I couldn't even look upon that spoiled canvas of her face. I couldn't let that be the face that greeted you in this world. 
I had to end the alone. For you. For mother. She left me no choice. 